Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Today's video is very exciting. I love using my Dyson Airwrap and I love trying it in so many different ways. And I found this TikTok video of a Dyson professional um, explaining the proper way to use the Dyson Airwrap. And today I'm gonna try it on my very curly hair and let's see if this technique works. I'm gonna be linking down below that original video. So before we start, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe. I have so many videos coming soon. I have some more hair videos coming, some hauls. So yeah, stay tuned, subscribe if you're liking my YouTube channel so far. We're almost at 100K, I am so excited. And yeah, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Also, if you are on Instagram and TikTok, definitely follow me on there. I post a lot of mini videos on there before you been posting videos on my youtube channel so check out those videos check out um my tiktok my instagram and yeah let's get right into blowing out my hair so i was just kind of letting my hair dry a bit with this microfiber towel this one is actually from aveda and it is so beautiful i love the print um i'm gonna link it down below this one is from the aveda and philip lim collection and i also got some Aveda products, some new combs and brushes that I'm gonna use today. I actually used this mask in the shower and it felt amazing. It's so thick and moisturizing, so I'm very excited to blow on my hair today and see how shiny my hair is gonna look. I love using Aveda products and I actually use the Vegamore shampoo and conditioner in the shower as well. I've been using that shampoo and conditioner a lot lately for hair growth, thicker looking hair, and I feel like it definitely works. So before I even start doing anything to my hair, I am going to add a heat protectant and I'm actually trying some other <laughs> new products from um, InStyler. They just came out with hair products. This is the Solutions by InStyler um, heat protectant. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this on my hair. I'm just gonna add a little bit of these products because I don't want my hair to be or feel heavy. So, I mean, I don't know if these products do that, but just in case, I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit. I always love to protect my hair from the heat and this protects up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a foam, which is interesting in a heat protectant. It's definitely something new, something different. It smells amazing. I'm gonna detangle my hair with my Julie brush. I love using this brush on my natural curls. It's super gentle, as you can see. It's like very flexible, so it doesn't really pull your hair. So yeah, I'm gonna link it down below if you guys wanna check it out. So the first step is to use this attachment to leave your hair pretty damp. So my hair is very wet, so I do have to use this attachment first to leave my hair more damp, just to kind of dry it more. So that kind of makes me like worry a little tiny bit because I always blow up my hair straight from pretty wet hair because my hair is very curly. If I air dry it first, like if I let it dry a little bit first, it will get a little bit frizzy. So I am gonna do a word test because I really wanna see if my hair is going to last all day. Um, but yeah, let me dry my hair. <sighs> I'm gonna use this brush, also from the Aveda and Philip Lim line. And I'm just gonna try to brush it as I dry it a little bit. He said that you can do this if you want. He's seen it on TikTok, but it doesn't really do much. I mean, it's just, it doesn't do much. I mean, it works, but. Yeah, if you want to look cool, you can do that for a TikTok video, but it doesn't really change much. Okay, so I think that should be enough. <laughs> My hair is definitely very big and frizzy right now, which is why like this is really like so shocking to me because I mean, I've always just blown up my hair straight from like pretty wet hair to get like a less frizzy look but we're just gonna try it and see if this works. So this attachment is supposed to give you more volume, 
and then this one's gonna leave your hair a lot more sleek so I'm gonna use this one because I definitely need that okay so the next step is to use this attachment so I'm just gonna try to get my hair as sleek as possible with this attachment and then he says you finish off with the curling barrels like after your hair is like about 80% dry so let's try to do one section first um, highest heat setting high speed let's do this Okay, so it is about 80 to 90 percent dry and I gotta say <laughs> my hair is pretty sleek right now it looks pretty good and it actually dried very quickly like even quicker than ever I mean at least this section so now I'm gonna use this barrel this one's going away from my face as you can see so it says that you have to start from the end first and it's slowly gonna grab all your hair be very patient and bring it up. I'm gonna let this set for about 10 seconds on the cool setting now. Okay, and let's release the curl. You turn it off and then you just release the curl. Wow, that was actually pretty easy to do. I'm not gonna lie. That was actually very easy to do. Um, let's see if I'm able to do that to all my hair. Okay guys, I am back. Wow, that was a workout. I broke a sweat. I even had to touch up my makeup. It took me so long to do all my hair. Like it took me at least two hours. Um, I timed just this side so you guys can see and have an idea of how long it's gonna take you to do your hair. I mean, at least how long it took me to do my hair. Um, it took me about 44 minutes to do just one side. So yeah, it definitely takes about two hours to do all my hair <laughs> i had to touch up some of the curls on this side because they did start to fall a little bit and i just want my hair to look overall kind of like the same when i start this wear test yeah this is what my hair looks like i really like how it looks i just have a feeling that my hair is gonna get frizzy and i hope it doesn't i mean i'm just gonna stay home today i'm not really gonna do much i think that the only thing that i would do in the future is maybe just go in with the straightener at the roots because it is kind of hard to get my roots straight as you can see right here i have some waves so i would maybe just go in with the straightener as i go and just kind of straighten the roots a little tiny bit and then maybe curl it but i'm gonna use this oil this is from the solutions um, line from InStyler and this is called the gloss. This is a hair oil that is supposed to get rid of frizz and it's supposed to add shine to your hair. So the applicator is a little bit weird. It's kind of like a spray. I don't love the packaging of these products too much. Yeah, this is not even like it goes down, but then you got to bring it back up. Yeah, the applicator isn't my favorite, but we're still going to try it. 
It smells really good. I feel like for this, a pump would have been way better. I don't know why it's like a spray. Um, so yeah, wow, my hair looks very shiny. That definitely added so much shine to my hair, like instantly. So yeah, I mean, I hope this is able to kind of control frizz. And yeah, I love it. I love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of this hold spray. I hope this isn't too watery, let me see. No, it's not too watery. I'll just spray it from like far away. Just a little bit. Just to see if my curls can hold a little bit longer. So it is now 4.22. If you guys are wondering who's this, this is actually Kenny when he was a baby. I love that picture. It's so cute. So it is now 4.22. And I'll be back in about an hour or two and I'll do a check-in. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so it's 522, so it's been exactly one hour. And so this is what my hair looks like. The curls look fine, but my only issue is that I can see the waves coming through even a little bit more. And I just feel like this wouldn't last. Like, I would need a straightener at the root at least just to have a more sleek look. But the curls look really, really nice. They still look pretty nice. They still look very, you know, bouncy, curly. Anyways, I'll see you guys in an hour or two. All right, guys, I'm back. It's been two hours. It's 6.24. And I think that is going to be it for this video because I have no natural light. And I feel like it's just getting a little bit dark in here. But... Yeah, this is what my hair looks like. I don't think it's gonna change much from here to like another hour or two. I'm just home. I'm not really um, doing much. I mean, I'm just like, you know, editing and stuff. So the roots definitely look pretty wavy. As you can see, <laughs> there you go. As you can see, the roots look pretty wavy on this side. I will say the curls are still there and they look really, really nice. So I would do this technique again, but I think I need my roots to be a little tiny bit more wet. I feel like I let them dry too much. And if my roots would have been a little bit more wet, I could have gotten a sleeker look. Or I could just use a straightener at the roots as I go. But yeah, you can definitely see that the roots are starting to get a little bit curly. So... Yeah, I mean, overall, it doesn't look bad. Yeah, guys, that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you liked this tutorial and if you want more videos like this. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're liking my channel so far. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.